What's up guys, welcome to another left stick, right stick, little big planet team pick review. We've got some amazing levels for you this week. We've got two mini games and one awesome platformer. But first up we're going to talk about Rotary by Tevlon1. It is an amazing little mini game. It looks almost like it belongs on a mobile. It's a very polished sort of mobile mini game. And the menu is great. It's got some um, nice little power-ups. It's, it's got very different aesthetic to what you'd normally expect from LBP. And, but the main premise is very simple. You've got to turn your wheel using the left analog stick to basically match the colors. You've got a bunch of power-ups to change colors to protect your lives. And it's the whole music element is quite nice, although I feel like maybe it could have been a bit faster. The whole music notes that actually play when you match these notes, it could have come in faster, although that may have made the whole level harder. Uh, but I like how the colour actually changes around. One of the power-ups actually changes um, your bar, the colour code to be accepting any colour. You can have the protection, and there's you know there's actually good progression through there. It tells you when you're progressing. There's indications. I quite like the sort of the life indication being very hidden, I guess, in that it's sort of like little small little bars, seven lives per colour uh, per barrier, and you have to just match them. And if you get them wrong, then it goes down a line. Um, few things I do have annoyance with though is yeah once again like the music um, is feels like it could be better it could look, be utilized much more the actual when you reach zero lives um, the redness could have been maybe a bit more pronounced I guess and also the actual when you have the multicolored bar it's not very clear but as amazing amazing team pick there definitely check it out next up we have cannonball by clap trap 9 this is actually a really cool looking mini game as well. It's done in a very similar style to the official challenges, which I like. Um, although some of the sort of descriptions or help section, control section, doesn't tell you about the power ups. You have to learn about it throughout the whole level. Although it gives you, you know, a good two minute time frame, which you can add. There's, you know, the normal power ups that you expect from a challenge style level. There's like the, uh, the two times uh, multiplier thing, which you can only ever really have one of, you can't actually stack them for the machine. And the actual, it makes the targets a bit bigger, which is kind of cool. Then you've got the added additional time thing, it does them by uh, being on, on the low ground. And you've got a unique one, which is a fire cannonball, that's a fired up cannonball, which actually can go through multiple targets. Although you, know, you have to be pretty skilled to do that, I, I couldn't really do uh, multiple targets at the same time using this uh, special power, which is a bit of a shame. But I kind of like how the lighting changes to actually reflect. Uh, these power-ups as well has been good and it's quite simple to move maybe it would be better if we could just um, move the left and right as well as just you know your right analog stick is up and down uh, it would be better if you could maybe use left and right as well as just moving left and right yourself um, controls took a little bit getting used to at the beginning it took a few seconds but otherwise um, it feels good the only thing that probably did feel a bit annoying was that it felt very Tiring after a while, it got a little boring after a bit. I think just because we couldn't uh, rack up the multiplier and stuff, it felt very same time, it was a bit too long. And it's a shame we couldn't get the normal challenge reward set uh, bit at the end. But a great team pick nonetheless, great mini game, check it out. And finally, we have Autumn Take Me Home by Edmark16. If you are a subscriber, you would have seen me play this on our latest uh, live stream on Thursdays. Um, it's amazing, I really love this level. Check out the live stream for you know my live reaction to how I'm going through this whole level. Um, but generally, the whole takeaway is this is got you've got some great sort of game mechanics where you get you can shoot arrows, you've got wall running, and you've got um, this whole rolling element. And it's got the whole aesthetic looks very tranquil. The music is very nice. Definitely well deserved team pick. And I like you know the custom costume. Everything seems to gel together. It fits all together very well. It's actually split into three technically three different sections. Um, it's very dynamic throughout the whole level, which is great. In between, in between the sensitive actions, there's a bit of a lull, I guess, in sort of very samey stuff. One of the things I met, that I realized was, that came to my realization, was sort of these uh, run pads that we could run up the walls, along the walls and up, up the walls, they're all exactly the same shape. There's, there's no real variation to them. It does actually get a bit noticeable in the end. It doesn't really make that much difference, to be honest. I mean, it's, they're there. You, you do it, you use them, you, you can recognize in the color code, which is good, you know when to use them. Uh, I would have liked to be able to use the arrow a bit more, 
Uh, though it's good that, you know, we're using the arrow not just for killing enemies, you know, there's, there's things beyond violence to use such a weapon for, which is really cool. But maybe could have been used a bit more, as well as the roll. I mean, I think we used the roll a bit too little as well. Um, this is just a little mind complaint, but really great, uh, amazing level. And you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. And I really love all the team picks this week. Definitely well worth team picking all of these levels. Definitely check them out. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. And don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video. And become a subscriber to Elastic Rice Stick for more LPP and Dreams videos.